You, you got to work your first step. It has to become magical. Well, you cannot tell the difference between anything that you're doing. It's important for me to talk about Liberty University and my growth and you know my support system because that's what it is to me. Um, it's my hometown, one. I'm from here. Two, this is the university I went to. Three, it bred and continued to grow my spirituality. Seeing the growth of Liberty, it's, um, it's nice because I know I was a part of it. Like even the guys that came here today and helped me with my camp, eight of them played on the same team with me. We made a pact, you know, to, to try to to try to fulfill Dr. Falwell's wishes, and uh, it's cool to kind of see it come to fruition. I had to say the one best one. I think the biggest one going to be when we beat uh, Coastal, number one team in the country, and we were able to. Uh, finally get into the playoffs for this university football program. And then, <laughs> uh, they probably won A, won B. We were able to win our first playoff game that we ever were in to beat James Madison. That's even made a sweep, you know. That's cool right up the road from us uh, to do that. So, Jerry Falwell, to be able to be, be there to watch it there face to face when we beat uh, James Madison and him being a part of it, seeing him come in our locker room after that, that was very, very, very special. First game, there's a picture of me on the wall in this room. When I was 10, 10 or 11 years old, it was a high scoring game on both sides. It went back and forth, back and forth. Both teams had 40 or 50 points. And I remember just praying, I said, God, please let these guys win. It's their first game. Jimmy O'Grady, he was a linebacker, intercepted a, a, a pass. And he came off the field and him and Coach Wimbley hugged each other. That picture, Coach Wimbley has hanging in his office. We needed a play to be made, and he said, Coach, I'm going to make a play. And uh, he got an interception, ran the ball to me, and just said, Coach, I love you. Homecoming is when you, when you have an opportunity to spend four to five years at a university and then you know that one date on the calendar is an opportunity for you to gather with all your fellow alum and then meet new alum. It's almost like a big just family reunion of all the Liberty alum. During that homecoming week, it's a blast just because everyone comes together. They tell their stories and we laugh, you know, until we're blue in the face. I think it's going to bring out more fans. Uh, across the country that are Liberty grads, whether they're bachelor's degree, whether they're master's degree, whether they're doctor, they're Liberty fans. And they get a chance to stand up and be proud of their school. The color of your skin, um, your height, your weight, you know, your social, economic background, any of those things, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter in football. Um, just a common goal, a common cause uh, to be together. I appreciate all the people in the past and what they've done, the people in the present, and we're also looking forward to the things in the future. And I'm just blessed and grateful and thankful that I have the opportunity to be a part of it. They were a part of laying a solid foundation that today uh, we're building on. So all I can say is to God be the glory for what he has done and what he is doing today. Buckshot will throw over the middle. It's going to be caught. Touchdown, Liberty. B.J. Farrow, welcome to the 2017 college football season. Goes towards the end zone over the middle. Pass caught. Touchdown, Liberty. Cephas Reddick. Snap is back low. Back block, and the game is over. Liberty wins it 42-41.